This video will examine the external anatomy of the mouse and then demonstrate how to dissect the mouse in order to examine the internal anatomy. The first step is to make sure you have gathered all of the necessary equipment. This includes your dissection dish, a pair of scissors, forceps, a probe, pins, and of course a mouse. Let's now prepare for dissection. Use four pins to pin down the mouse, belly side up, with the four limbs stretched out as much as possible. Examine the following regions of the mouse. The head, trunk, consisting of the thorax and abdomen, forelimbs, hind limbs, and anus. If it is a male, the scrotum will be visible, and if it is a female, you should see the vulva and nipples, of which there are five pairs. With the forceps, grab hold of the skin just above the orifice. Make a small incision in the skin using scissors. Cut the skin from anus to chin and then out to each limb. Cut slowly and carefully, keeping the tips of your scissors pointed upwards. Don't cut too deep because you don't want to damage any of the organs underneath. Separate the skin from the muscles using a blunt probe. Pin back the skin to expose the body wall. Cut the muscular abdominal wall along the midline, just above the genital opening, and continue towards the head. This will allow you to see the organs of the abdominal cavity. Using forceps and a probe, as well as scissors if necessary, peel back the abdominal wall to separate it from the abdominal cavity. To dissect the thoracic cavity, cut up the middle along the sternum and then through the bones of the rib cage. Remove the sternum, ribs, and pectoral muscles. The heart should now be visible. You may also see the diaphragm, a thin muscle that separates the abdomen from the chest. It contracts when the mouse inhales, creating a vacuum that pulls air into the lungs, and then when the mouse exhales, it relaxes and the air is pushed out. The lungs should now be visible. The right lung consists of four lobes, while a single lobe makes up the left lung. The large, bright red, multi-lobed organ is the liver. The stomach can be found on the right side, just under the liver. Before exploring further, you may want to take a picture of your mouse. If you would like, you can remove the heart and lungs in order to get a better view of the trachea and esophagus. With the heart and lungs removed, you can better visualize the trachea on the left and esophagus on the right. The trachea allows for the passage of air into the lungs, while the esophagus delivers food to the stomach. If you would like, remove the liver to get a better look at what lies underneath. Let's see which parts of the digestive tract we can identify. Start with the esophagus and follow it until you reach the stomach. The pancreas is the bumpy, glandular organ that stretches along part of the stomach, spleen, and small intestine. The spleen is the flattened, reddish organ, similar in color to the liver, just to the right and posterior to the stomach. You may notice in this mouse that much of the digestive system is blocked from view. That is because this mouse is pregnant, and what you are looking at is the uterus full of embryos. Let's move the uterus out of the way to allow a better view of the digestive tract. The small intestine is tightly coiled and held together by a thin sheet of connective tissue called mesentery. You can unwind the intestine by gently pulling and breaking apart the mesentery using a probe or your fingers. This brings us to the end of the dissection, but feel free to continue exploring your mouse.